So why use a distributor? Here I've, I've detailed a distributor right here. You see tubes feeding the evaporator. Well, it helps to manage flow to the evaporator. Why is that important? Because as we leave the uh, expansion device, we generally have saturated flow that is liquid and vapor. So you've got two-phase flow. So vapor wants to go one place, liquid wants to go another. And the distributor helps to mitigate the problems associated with that. If you had single phase flow, you could use a header assembly. Headers are used in vapor compression refrigeration cycles all, of, all the time. What are some common headers? There's a discharge header, because all it has is discharge gas. There's suction headers, because all it has is suction gas. Uh, car engines, you know, the header off, you know, handling exhaust gas. It's single phase flow. But if you have two-phase flow, like I've depicted here, that's what vapor's going to do. That's what liquid's going to do. And if you let that happen in your evaporator and your vapor compression cycle, it's not going to do the job you want it to do. I can see now I've lost the bet. I told Dennis, who was my compatriot, that I wouldn't have anywhere near a full house, and we could leave and go to Outback early. <laughs>